Hi, I'm Selena Campbell, frequent host of the Fertility Podcast, This is Infertility. Before we dive in today, we just want to remind you to subscribe to our channel. We're posting videos featuring fertility experts weekly, and by subscribing and liking these videos, you'll actually be helping others find them. Today, we're going to learn about intracytoplasm sperm injection. Don't worry, you never have to call it that. You can just call it ICSI. And to educate us today, we have Dr. Samuel Brown, a reproductive endocrinologist from Brown Fertility. So let's dive in. What's ICSI? ICSI is an acronym, I-C-S-I. It's intracytoplasmic sperm injection. And what it is, is a technique where we place a single sperm into a single egg for couples that have severe male factor infertility and other reasons. ICSI is really important because before 1991, gentlemen that had low sperm counts weren't able to fertilize eggs properly, especially with the IVF process. So it was a huge breakthrough for male factor infertility where eggs could be fertilized to become embryos that could become babies, and it helped male factor infertile couples. ICSI was initially created to help the male factor infertility, but these days it's being used for way more than just that. We now use it for multiple reasons. We use it um, when couples have eggs that are cryopreserved, when we thaw them and want to fertilize them, we need to perform the ICSI technique to have proper fertilization. We also have couples where, even though the sperm count or sperm concentrations are normal, they have improper fertilization of the eggs and it helps improve fertilization rates in the IVF process. ICSI is also used when couples are having genetic testing of their embryos which we call PGTA or PGTM. ICSI is often highly recommended by doctors when PGT is being utilized. We have a few videos about PGT on this channel already, and down the line, we're gonna post a few about the relationship between PGT and ICSI as well. Now, ICSI is all about ejecting a single sperm into a single egg. Well, there are millions of sperm in a sperm sample. So how do the doctors choose which sperm to inject? So the process, with the embryologists is they have to sort through the gentleman's sperm and there's lots of abnormal sperm and normal sperm in that mixture. Actually, most sperm are abnormally shaped. So the goal of the embryologist is to sort through that sperm, find the, the most normally shaped sperm. We, call, we use something called Kruger morphology where it has perfect ratios of head and tail. And they'll find the, the most beautiful, perfect sperm and place a normal sperm into one egg with this microsurgical technique where they're inserting one sperm into one egg. It's, it's pretty awesome. We've only scratched the surface on ICSI here today, but we'll be posting many more ICSI videos on this channel, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Also, if you want a ton of information about fertility treatment or anything else fertility related, we have it for you at progeny.com education. And if you want to hear stories from people who have experienced these treatments, check out This Is Infertility, wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you.